Now, right now, he's not at his tallest. I've got him tilted a bit forward so that I can fit as much of him in frame as possible. So, yeah, he's leaning forwards ever so slightly. Let's look at him from the side, and you can see what I mean. I've got him leaning forwards. He stands fine this way, but, yeah, there's that limitation. He's got a big chunk of kibble on the back, and that's going to be explained later in the review when I get into all his cool little features. Anyway, posability wise is pretty much the same. It's not a bit more. His legs have a bit more range of motion. Same knees. He's got the movable uh, feet, kind of. He has arms have the same flexibility. In fact, they probably have a bit more. And his head, robot head, the little pieces on the side here move a bit up and down, and it's got. A ball joint, so it's got the full range of motion, pretty much. Alright, now, normally you would think, first I'm going to point out actually, the key differences between this figure and the original figure were, first of all, the head. The head is completely new, and it looks a lot like the, the TV show head. It's painted very show accurately, this version of the mold. mold. It's even got, if you look in here, it's even got glows in the eyes, so to speak. You can kind of see that on here. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, he's got little glows in the eyes. They're not painted one color. This kind of homages how the uh, eyes were lit in Beast Wars, in that they used a bit of a gradient rather than just one solid color. As well, the chest piece here is remolded, in that the actual chest plate is more show accurate, plus when you flip it around, you get a very different gorilla head than the original had. This one is a lot more show accurate, it, even though it's less menacing looking than the original's real head. Anyway, as I was saying before I interrupted myself, action features are what really sells this guy. Because, let's face it, he's a standard gorilla transformation. You're basically transforming a guy into another guy. Which isn't very impressive and doesn't really give a compelling reason to buy this figure. But I'm about to give you a compelling reason to buy this figure simply because of all the action features. Now, if you look back here, you can see another little button over here. Let's try pressing it. And one of them didn't pop up. As you can see, he's got a very cool action feature here. Specifically, dual missile launchers that are behind his back, which, when that button is pressed, will pop up. You can kind of slide them into place, maneuver them around. I normally leave them out in when I'm uh, standing him because they're not very show accurate, but it's a very cool feature. I don't think these are supposed to fire when they pop up, but sometimes just the force of them going up causes them to fire. He's got two missiles here that fire these things. And he's got another two stored behind the head right back there, if you can see them. I'm going to take those out in a sec, so I'll be able to show them off. But yeah, as you can see, the missiles here fire pretty well. But wait, that's not all. If it was just two dinky missile launchers, that wouldn't be a compelling reason. No. Also, back here, behind this area here, he stores his swords. These swords, I can't remember if he ever used them in the show. I think he did. But you can put the swords in his hands like this in order to give him a dual sword configuration. Again, apologies for the head not showing up properly. It has everything to do with the camera angle that I've got here. And you can also give him a bit of a giant dual sword by plugging it into the hole on the bottom of this. Now, why I'm doing this is going to become apparent very quickly, because I'm still not done with all of his awesome action features. Oh, no. No, 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 no. If you open up this fist by popping this piece open here, if I'm doing this right, he's got something in here. What is it? It's a mace. Now, they didn't re-sculpt this mace at all, so it's still got that same skull face that the original had. But he's got a mace, which you plug into the figure, and then you can swing it about the same way you could use a mace. It's kind of ironic, actually, considering that the original uh, G1 Megatron was the one with the mace, and Prime was the one with the axe. Whereas this guy kind of has the sword-slash-axe 
and the mace all in one toy. But wait, am I done yet? No. He's got one final awesome little feature in terms of storage. That went pretty quickly, so I'll just show it again. This, ho this was homaged on the show and homaged better on the uh, Robot Masters version of the toy and how they work. But he's got little gauntlet launchers here, so that you press this little piece in, and the bottom folds down, and a gun folds out. Now this gun is where the two backup missiles in the back of his head come in handy. They don't like to stay in, fortunately. But they're the same missiles as launched from the other launchers, and it allows him to launch two more missiles from his uh, fist. Meanwhile, the sword just dangles off to the back, like, there. That's what I tend to do when I've got him all armored up when I display this guy. He does have one final feature. If you recall, we flip these little pegs up. As a result, the peg back here works differently. Instead of conforming to its original functionality, what the thing does now is... It's going to be hard to show. But, yeah, there we go. It lets you swing the arms rather than beating the chest. So you can swing the mace and the swords. I think this probably works best with either just the mace or the so or holding dual swords. Because if he's got a gun out and the sword kibble there, it's not going to be that great. Anyway, as you can see, he's armed to the teeth. Considering the character on the show was a research scientist, it is pretty surprising. He's got a lot more weaponry than the Megatron he was released with. Even though the Megatron is a better transformation than Primal, what makes Primal awesome is his incredible arsenal of weapons. Far more than Megatron. Now, I'm just going to do a couple more quick comparisons in robot mode for scale purposes. First, I'm going to just show off that the Ultras, they weren't all that tall. Here he is next to animated leader Megatron. As you can see, Megatron's bent a bit over but you can see that he is about the same height as Leader Megatron, actually. Not, and Megatron's actually got a bit on him, I'd say. But, yeah. And as for another one, here he is with Activator's Cliff Jumper. Again, not the best comparison. I've got better comparisons. In case Starscream is a more apt one, since a lot of people have this mold. He towers over uh, Henke Starscream, if you notice. Last but not least, I should probably also compare him to his uh, wave mate namesake, the guy he was in the two-pack with, the original Beast Wars Megatron. They're both very much in scale, as you can see right here. And as for one final recent comparison, here he is next to the most recent Beast Wars figure, Universe Dinobot. As you can see, Primal is... Dinobot's pretty well in scale with a lot of the Beast Wars deluxes, but Primal is out of scale with his fellow Maximals. Dinobot was always the, one of the taller guys, and Primal towers over the other Maximals, as you can easily tell. I don't think I need to bring up Rat Trap to show that up. Anyway, again, Optimus Primal is an awesome figure. He's just Prime. Period. I wholeheartedly recommend Primal. If you get a chance to get this two-pack like I did when it came out a couple years ago, get it. Or if you can't get the U.S. version, get the Japanese version. The U.S. version, though, is pretty identical in terms of paint apps. There's only one small difference in the Megatron, but otherwise, they're pretty much, for all intents and purposes, the same figures with the same remolds. So, again... Great figure, if you're into Beast Wars, must-haves because of the new heads, even if you own the molds already. The new heads and paint jobs will blow you away. This is General Techno, signing off.